What's up everybody, it's our Mike. Um, as you see, we have the 360 cam in front of us. I've gone through the manual, overlooked a couple things, made sure I have all the right information about the camera. It is fully charged now. It is a micro USB type C. And with it being micro USB type C, another thing I was right about is that in the manual here, it actually does list, it is two 13 megapixel uh, dual fisheye sensors. They create a 260. Um, the max resolution is for video is 2560 by 1280 at 30 frames per second. And then the max photo resolution is 5660 by 2830 at a 16 megapixel. So it would be a full uh, 360, 16 megapixel photo at the max. That's at the highest setting. And you can adjust the settings on this using the uh, 360 manager application that you will download. Uh, to your Android device or iOS. So you can use this with an iOS phone as well, an, an Apple iPhone or Apple Apple uh, tablet as well. So um, when it comes to battery, it is a built-in 1200 milliamp hour battery. Charge time is 120 minutes. As you can see, we have LG on one side, Friends logo on the other. Um, like I said, USB Type-C 2.0, Bluetooth version 4.1, it is Wi-Fi enabled 802.11 A, 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 B, G, and N. Um, also, the still image can be JPEGs. Uh, video format is all the normal stuff. I'm not going to bother rambling off all that. Um, for capturing, it is stereoscopic, half stereoscopic images and video. And like I said, it is the three microphones that pick up all our audio, so it turns into a 5.1 audio when you upload it for uh, consumption on via the internet, or if you're going to post a video and then plug in headphones or connect it up to a surround sound system. Um, micro SD card support. Uh, like I said, I knew it would ha it should handle at least a 16, 32, 64. It actually is just like the LG... Uh, smartphones, it can handle up to a 2 terabyte micro SD, which of course 2 terabytes micro SD cards are not a thing yet. Uh, 200 gigabyte, of course, you can find. And like I have in this is a 64 gig micro SD. And then uh, the last thing in the description here online is just your uh, dimension sizes and all that. So I'm not going to bother boring you guys with all that stuff. Um, now that it's done and fully charged, we'll do one more walk around the device. Uh, as you can see, I've not pulled off my covers. We will do so now. And let's do our other one here. Get that on focus. And there we go. These are our sensors. They are exposed now, They're ready for use. So on the, depending on which spine you want to look at, if you're to look at the LG logo as your front, which I guess that would be because that is our, our button for capturing, whether it's video or photo. So on the right spine, looking at the front of the device, we have our LED indicators indicating whether we're doing a 360 or if we are doing a 180 degree photo or video. Um, our power button, as you can see, these are our nubs that help uh, when the device sits in its case. So it's for pulling it out, locking it in place, and unlocking it. We flip over to the left spine. We have nothing, just our branding, the um, our uh, certifications and whatnot on the left spine. Bottom side is where you can connect up to your tripod mount, and our, of course, what we looked at earlier, the micro USB Type C and your micro SD card support. Or uh, yeah. USB Type C, not micro, and a micro SD card support. So, top side here we have a sticker to take off, and that is about it. So, pretty simple. And the case itself does act as a stand, so you can have it set just as the device itself, or if you want to be a little higher off the table, you can plug it in and stand it so it sits up higher. And, uh, Yes, I do. I also do have a mini tripod to put this on that I will be trying out tomorrow. Um, next, we'll go ahead and go through the application.
Okay, so I brought up my mini tripod as you see here. Also, I don't know if you guys notice this, there is a plastic coating that you can peel off here going around as well just to protect the device um, while it slides in and out and mainly just while it is packaged. But I might peel all this off. I'll just leave it on here for now. I don't think it's going to be blocking any of our microphones for audio. So we will go on ahead and boot this up. First, I'm going to put us on a tripod and uh, get this nice and flat. This is a fold-out tripod. Works good for an action for a hand tripod too, if you're going to be uh, running and gunning, so to say. But for doing uh, this type of video, or even if I was to set this down in the grass somewhere and have the dogs play outside, hint, hint, which will be another video, then uh, full 360. Um, this will work good for that. So we'll get this set up, and we'll go on ahead and boot this up and uh, start doing our walkthrough on how this will work. So we'll probably face it this way, like so. That way it's very stable. I don't worry about this falling. All right, well, let's go ahead and check out the application. All right, so I have my V10. I have the application installed already. It is known as 360 Cam. It is by LG. You look it up in the Play Store. I will go on ahead and I will include that link in the uh, comment section or in the video description down below, just to show you guys what this looks like. We will go into my applications and installed section here. Uh, as you can see, I have my phone muted so I don't get any other interruptions. And we'll go down to all. And right here, LG 360 Cam Manager by LG Electronics. So, let's go ahead and open this up. And we are greeted with, life is good when you play more. Welcome. Let's get started. We are going to agree to all the terms and conditions. Uh, Bluetooth low energy enabled. We will allow access to our 360 cam manager. It is going to search. We will turn that on, as you can see. That will be our camera. Pairing the cam. I'm going to pause right here while this prepares. Alright, so it finished pairing the device, I believe. Okay, so we got the 360 cam connected and ready to go. Um, first thing it asks is, do you want to tag your photos, your location of your photos and videos? I uh, don't need everybody knowing where all these photos have been taken and videos have been taken. So we're going to say no. And right now that is our view we are seeing. I take it as just one lens. I guess depending if we spin it around. There you go. Now you're seeing a live view of what we got going on here. So that is just one fisheye lens, obviously. We will go on ahead and hit our back button. But you can see we can change everything here from 360, auto. Uh, this looks like our spherical uh, modes. We can go into our modes, auto. There's night mode, indoor lighting. Uh, I'm guessing it's either multiple subjects or depending on and sport so you have a couple different modes to choose from so that's pretty cool and then it looks just like your normal icons that you'd see for when you're going to tell it to take a photo or video using your phone as as your main source and then if you were just to set this down somewhere and start let this sit and then use the our uh, phone remotely as the remote so we'll hit our back button here exit out so you can see we have our gallery settings we're going to allow access to gallery. Nothing, because we have not done anything yet. So let's go on ahead and do one full, let's do a 360 here. 
Okay, so as for the last part of our walkthrough on the 360 cam here, we're going to connect back up. Um, when you disconnect from the application on the phone, it will disconnect from the camera itself, and the camera will go into its sleep mode. Now that we are connected back up to the camera directly via, I want to say this is via Bluetooth on it. It's prepped and ready to use, as we just heard there. So we can go into the camera, we can hit gallery, and we can hit settings. Let's go into the settings for a moment. We'll show you what's going on there. Our Wi-Fi connection from the camera directly here to the phone. As you can see, all our icons, everything we have up on top has inverted. So we are now on a white background with a black lettering and black text. Our storage, which is our memory, on the memory card inside the camera. We have our battery life. Uh, auto sleep. You can actually change that. I have it set to the lowest setting right now for one minute. If the camera is inactive for one minute, it will automatically go into sleep mode. Um, and then about camera. This is where you will find out your software updates, device information, and terms of use. So to check your updates through the LG Bridge on your PC, that's something we'll have to check out later. We'll hit our back area. Um, as you notice here, the it says our 360 cam our battery life if we were to search for a device if we go into the gallery here is a test photo i had taken and i had already downloaded it to the phone so when you look at it it looks original if you go into the actual photosphere it uses the Jarvis sensors in your phone to recognize what's going on or you just take your finger and move around and you can see it had taken a full 360 of what we got going on in this room. You can see we're on our tripod, but you can't really make out the camera is there. So that is pretty cool. We'll slide on up, exit out of that. Um, your options you have in this gallery is you can go directly into the photo, download your photos, share, and delete. If you try to share right from being on a photo right here, it will tell you you need to download the photo first. So as we can see, it has a download marker showing that this photo has been downloaded already. And then you also have My Device and 360 Cam. So it's showing us what is on the 360 Cam. We can go to My Device, shows us that we have the photo saved to the phone. Now back into the camera settings, once the camera is live, this icon up here that I thought was for the for Photosphere is actually to switch your lenses. You tap that, you will rotate to each lens. As you can see, I am right there talking. We'll rotate back. Um, all our settings on this is just like what you would find on an LG, G3, G4, G5 device. These are all our same icons that we have. We have our settings. We can change our audio level, our locations off. I'm guessing that would be our fisheye lens for wideness, timers off, and then 16 megapixel from you tap on that we can choose what sizes we want to do for photos and then same thing for video just like we would on the phone and then next thing over like we said is for changing our lenses if we want to do a full 360 photo you can change it to doing just a 180 which gives you your 180 degree depth of view as we can see we'll change back to a full 360 and then auto now if we switch from auto to manual as you can see here we actually do have all the same auto white balance, our ISO, um, shutter speed down here at the bottom, white balance, if we want to lighten or darken, ISO. Everything is just like you would find if you had manual controls on your LG, uh, G4, G5 camera abilities, or V10 here. Uh, the same thing is built into this camera itself, so that is pretty cool. That's something I like. And then, of course, down at the bottom here for taking photos, video, go to the gallery, and your back button. So, that is about it. I know this has been a long video, guys. I do appreciate you guys checking it out. If you liked it, please hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you are new. Uh, this is RF Mike. I hope you guys all enjoyed that little walkthrough of the camera and all its abilities. Um, you don't have to use a tripod. Obviously, you can just use it just for holding your hand, pointing and shooting. I just set it up this way for doing this video, and like I said, if I plan to do a video with the dogs here in the future on my channel, you guys will see it, and it will be in full 360. I hope you guys have a great night, and I will see you in the next one.